So if we're looking at the initial coin offerings, now these are, in, instead of an IPO, where, where you would list a company on a, a normal stock exchange, here on an ICO, you're listing a company on a crypto exchange. So you're using uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin to, to basically raise funds for your organization. And this has been a recent phenomenon. I mean, if you look here, this is kind of around about the, the beginning of 2016, and it's a cumulative graph. So by the end of, well, actually by today, it raised almost $8 billion. Okay? If we look at some of the companies that are raising that money, okay, $2 billion has been raised alone by Telegram. Okay, Telegram is a, um, it's a messaging system, so it will be a competitor to, to WhatsApp. Okay, so you heard it here first. But, um, <laughs> but, but basically, the um, Telegram system uh, is current, currently coming under question because uh, the recent news is that the shareholders are, are basically saying to them, look, what are we actually getting for our money? You know, we haven't seen anything yet. You know, nothing's been produced. But that's, that, that's the, the very nature of these ICOs. They can actually be put together on the back of a white paper that is produced. Okay, so you can produce a white paper and you can gather uh, funding for, for your particular um, initiative. Kick is another messaging system. Filecoin is a, um, a, a blockchain file storage uh, system. And Tezos, okay, not the other word, um, is, is, is basically a, um, a competitor to, to Ethereum. Okay. So some interesting blockchain um, projects that are coming out. Um, obviously, with the banks, they're looking at the back office settlement systems, uh, Ripple and, and uh, you know, Quorum. Uh, the Monetary Authority of, of Singapore uh, has, has been putting in place some, uh, some items there. And, and our own South African Reserve Bank is also looking at utilizing Quorum uh, as, as the back office settlement system. Um, supply chain initiatives. Okay, It's not just the banking sector that is actually utilizing blockchain. It's wherever you've got a trust relationship that you want to replace with a system that um, blockchain is so strong. Okay, So typically when you, where you've got a multi-party relationship, so like with supply chain, Supply chain, there are several parties involved. Um, and it could, it could include the insurers, it could include the funders, it could include the, um, the, the, the final payment, the settlement of that payment. That can all be um, taken care of in a blockchain solution.